Idurus has helped me so much to find a job out in the community and inspire people on what I like to do with my life. We literally just completed a strategic plan and have refreshed our mission to really look at the more long-term needs of our clients. So now our mission is empowering adults on the autism spectrum to live meaningful lives throughout their lifespan. There's some obviously ongoing challenges that we have that thanks to Amy's leadership, we've come an enormous way in a very short period of time. I think the people that have come to see this, both from the community and from donors and supporters, people fall in love with it because you can really see the, both the way the staff and the folks that are coming into the program every day deeply care about this place. We basically visited all the programs in the Baltimore metropolitan area. We found, we identified some pretty good programs um, that didn't really quite do all the things for people with autism that we thought should be done to make it a really quality program. It very quickly became clear that this could easily be molded into something that was very general because if you've known one person with autism, you've known one person with autism. But the model guidelines um, address all the major areas that we had come to know were necessary. Part of our board was uh, we had someone on the autism spectrum who helped with the sensory the sensory overload and thinking about when you put the building together, to the, the building. colors, the, the spaces, the, the lighting, um, all went, had to be thought out. We have a joint maker business that everybody works on and then the artists who are more um, experienced in art or more or are more dedicated to it have their own micro businesses. Really my job is to try to get the artists as immersed in the art community of Baltimore as possible. I try to get them into events, galleries. There are so many moments where I'm just the, the authenticity of the clients like really reaches me and kind of like melts away any like ego barriers that you might have. Like you really are forced to be yourself here. The biggest thing for clients is being accepted into the their community, their larger community. Finding space for them where they are accepted after after their school years have ended continues to be, I think, a really big challenge for them um, and a really big challenge for us um, because it's a constant pursuit for the people, especially who are working and getting our individuals employed. We had presumed when we first started that we would have between 40 and 50 clients after 10 years. Uh, we've been overwhelmed with applications every single year. Here we are at year 10 and we're at 100 clients, just about 100 now, uh, with an admissions class coming in in July of an additional 14 clients. In spite of the fact that we can only take up to about 10 clients to 12 to 13 a year, we still need to get our name out there and get the need out there for other people to help the community support us. We can't do this by ourselves. We have a very large number that we have to raise in fundraising money every single year just to keep the lights on in this building. So it's really, really important for people to understand who we are, what our needs are, so we can get the most amount of community support. We talk to parents all the time saying the question, what happens when I'm gone? And what is my child's life going to look like? How is my child going to have a meaningful day when they fall off that cliff at age 21? What is going to happen to my child? Funding is, is always an issue because of the fact that we program at such a higher rate of staff to client. 80% of our budget is predominantly staff only. So it isn't like we're spending money on highfalutin items and unnecessary things. It's strictly on the direct support for the client needs. I think we knew that when we started. We did. That, that for every client we took, we would have to raise a considerable amount of funding uh, to keep the quality that we wanted, and that continues. There are hundreds of people, and if you look across the nation, thousands of people who need what we're doing here for their individual to live their most meaningful life. One of the biggest misconceptions of people who have ASD or are affected by ASD um, is that they don't want to build relationships or 
you know, make meaningful connections with people. And that is the complete opposite. Once you start meeting these people and working with them, you notice that that's one of their wants and needs, just like everyone else, is to have relationships and how strong the relationships are. I want them to know that autism is not who they are. It's just part of them. That means their brains work a little differently than the rest of the people in the world. What is one thing that would help itineraries grow? More employment opportunities for our clients. More partnerships with businesses. Community support. Money. 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 Community integration. Community partners. Connections in the community. Donations. More funds. Funding. 